my name is Sandra and I am so blessed that I was led to know about this practice since 2010. Uh, for many years I had gone to my former dentist who was retiring and he had sold this practice to another dentist and though she was a lovely person and we did love each other uh, I could see that she didn't have the qualifications to do some of the dentistry work that I needed to have done. She didn't have the training. And when I shared this with my dear friend Beth, who um, worked with other doctors and so forth, and uh, she, we prayed together, and this was a matter of prayer for me. She said, I have to take you to my dentist. My son and I go here to him for years, and we love him. He's so thorough. So because we were such good friends, I came to her dentist, and I was so blessed. Um, I sing for the Lord, so I'm before the public. I teach the scriptures. I speak on behalf of the unborn, where I'm on the platforms and stages. I've done television interviews, singing on TV, radio interviews. So I'm before the public a lot in what I do. And I have real joy, and I, I smile a lot. Uh, people talk about that, but my teeth needed some help because I was smiling so much and one tooth was so badly cracked, I had to have Dr. Mazza put in an implant. Uh, I'm just so glad God led me to Dr. David Mazza. Uh, and, uh, and, and things like my, my, the gums was, uh, needed repair, and he did grafting. And Bethy was there that day with me because I knew I would be uh, asleep during the process, and she would have to be my chauffeur to take me home. And uh, it was such care given me that I was comfortable, that I was not in pain. And then he would call me and check on me that night. And sometimes he'd call the next day, Sandra, how is it? How are you feeling? Because I, I could see the concern he had for each and every one of his patients. That's very unusual for a dentist to do that. Uh, I've had, you know, fine dentists all my life but I've never had a dentist that has shown that kind of care in the follow-up even of what was done. And um, because I had some um, chips, uh, things were chipping, my bite was wrong, um, and he, he, he could see I smiled a lot, and he wanted that smile to be uh, made stronger and brighter uh, because I was here representing the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And uh, I'm so grateful that I had all the work done, various types of things, uh, that he had the skills and the know-how. Uh, he teaches other people in dentistry because he knows so much. And I feel so, I've given out his card, his business card, to so many people. I've advertised it even at my post office. I want them to know where they can go to a dentist that I can highly recommend. And uh, there's... There, I think I even wrote someone somewhere that if Queen Elizabeth needed a dentist, she came to visit the United States, I was going to get to her and tell her to go to see Dr. David Mazza. That's the best you're going to find in this country. And that's how I felt, and that's how I feel. And so thank you for allowing me this, these few moments to, to, um, to say that what I feel in my heart about his practice.